Hi and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 29th of September 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in what continue to be high risk markets today. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, the S&P 500 broke its six day losing streak in a positive session overnight. Uh, this was helped by the Bank of England's response to some financial stability concerns that were on market minds following the potential tax cuts outlined by the new UK Prime Minister. The NDX was positive for the second consecutive day and outperformed, of course. Florida is bracing for Hurricane Ian as it hits landfall and we've got some key data ahead today as well. So lots going on still in markets. We've got the US futures near neutral today, not follow through yet, but we are getting follow through in Asian indices. The ASX is up around about 1.8% in early trading and European equity futures are pointing to a very positive open also. US dollar index dropped significantly on that equity strength, but still near two decade highs. Gold bounced 2% back up to that key level at 16.60, all bounced 6% off year-to-date lows on an unexpected EIA inventory drawdown and just the general risk on attitude that's in markets today. Copper also bounced with 340 key level insight. Remember, it did have support at 330. And the VIX dropped 8% from its intraday highs yesterday to close below 30. Again, just suggesting a little bit of market cowing, but Remember, of course, that is still a very high level and markets are still in a worrisome state. Bitcoin is trading in a range. And of course, we have got big data, as we've already said today. We've got German inflation data, Euro consumer confidence, US weekly jobs, GDP, and importantly, the PCA data all due. That PCE data is one that the Fed looks at significantly as it is an inflation measure. A couple of charts that have caught our eye today. We are keeping an eye on Paladin Energy after that pullback we've had over the last couple of weeks. We found support at around about 72.5 cents there, as you can see. And we have the start of a potential bounce. Watching this 77 level, we think if it breaks through this, we could see it climb back up here. Remember, fundamentally, this is quite strong because of the... Japanese intention to increase nuclear power. Of course, this is a key player in the uranium field. So one to watch, but again, one to be patient. Uh, possibly a 78 entry there to take it higher. On the FX front, let's look at the GB Swiss franc daily. We can see it's had four attempts over the last four sessions to breach this 105.69 level. Uh, you can see it's starting to push through there. Possibly a big drop downwards to test yesterday's intraday low. Uh, so we can see here in the first instance, there's that key level we've talked about on the daily chart. So potentially in the first instance, a move down, possibly around about 100 pips to test uh, this 104.62 level. So one to keep an eye on for sure. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.